What's up guys, I'm on here from Aesthetic Progression and in this video I'm going to talk about bodybuilding versus powerlifting. Now, a lot of people have been asking me questions, which one should they pick? Bodybuilding or should they go with powerlifting? Okay, so that's a lot of that's a question that a lot of people have, especially in the beginning phase. You know, they don't know which direction to go. So I'm going to put some of my opinions on the table so that you can decide and choose which one you want to work. First of all, let's just go with uh, what this bodybuilding means and what this powerlifting means. Okay, so bodybuilding is a sport of developing your physique the way you want. Okay, so you want to lose. A certain amount of weight, or you want to build certain muscles in certain body parts, or you want to look a certain way. That's what bodybuilding will get you into. Okay, so you will look a certain way. The whole purpose is developing a physique the way you want, and using the the tools and techniques that will get you there. Powerlifting, on the other hand, is to get stronger, but stronger in three specific moves: the bench press, the deadlift, and the squats. That's the most basic difference. Now, the principles of workout techniques is also very different. So a lot of people kind of get confused on the fact that you know powerlifters do almost the same movements, bodybuilders do um, bench, squat, deadlift as well. They do like a lot of uh, assistant movements and everything. And bodybuilders and powerlifters do add a tremendous amount of muscle. So a lot of people do not know workout-wise what's the difference between bodybuilding and powerlifting. Now, the way that the bodybuilders and powerlifter works are going to be very, very different as well. And quite frankly, it's very, very simple and basic once you understand the concept. Now, the bodybuilder will try to make a movement as difficult as possible so that they can work the muscle at various angles and they can make, they want to make their muscles hard. Let's put it this way. Okay? So for example, they focus on increased time under tension, they, increase, they focus on contraction, they, uh, they, they focus with various uh, longer range of motion that the powerlifter doesn't. Now the whole purpose of a powerlifter on the other hand is to make a movement easier. Okay, So unlike the bodybuilder, powerlifter uses multiple muscles. Okay. And to make the work easier, plus they try to decrease the range of motion as much as possible in order to do that. And this has to do with simple physics. You do have to understand that the human, uh, human mechanics or human movement is very, very related and it's absolutely all about physics. Okay, so we take a bench press, for example. Now, if you think about it, okay, uh, a bodybuilder stands for a bench press is going to be right over here, okay? Right, a little bit wider than shoulder grip. They try to isolate uh, the chest only. At least that's what they should do. They don't use leg drive or anything. Their legs are firmly planted, but they don't try to push the push the waist through the legs or anything. They strictly try to isolate the chest in order to grow the muscle bigger. Now, let's look at the range of motion now. So you already say say a, a bodybuilder is lifting 100 pounds just to make it easier, okay? And they'll do. They will try to bring the weight, look at the my range of motion, it is a lot more. Okay? And now let's look at the power lifter. A power lifter tries a very wide shoulder grip. Uh, sorry, very wide uh, very wide grip on the bench press. And when you bring it front, you see how less the range of motion is now. Right? So compared to this and this. That's the basic principle behind it. Okay, now and the reason behind it is the formula for work done. Now we know that the work done is equal to force times distance traveled. Now force, uh, force which is a weight being the same in both cases, but from here to here it's very short distance, weight being constant, they are going to do a lot less work than here as like a bodybuilder where they have to, where the distance is a lot more, but they are doing a lot more work. So this increases their work capacity. Okay, so if you are traditionally doing this kind of bodybuilding movement, if you switch from here to here, wider grip, you'll notice that you can handle a lot more, a lot more of weight, even if you touch the bar on your chest on both cases. It's a very basic principle. Okay, so if you want a bodybuilder, try to make a movement as difficult as possible for a muscle. If you're a power lifter, try to make the movement movement more difficult 
so I um, mean try to make the movement more easier so that you'll be able to lift a lot more weight. A typical workout session for a bodybuilder is going to be, you know, they'll, they'll have a chest day, a back day, or their days will be based on their muscles. A typical workout for a power lifter is going to be bench day, squat day, deadlift day, or example, it's a, it's, they're going to name it after the movement that they are going to do. You do have to understand that there is a huge overlap between bodybuilding and powerlifting, and and this video is actually about the overlap. And my question to you guys is what makes you choose one movement, uh, one type of sport over the other? None of them are superior than the other. Both of them has its own flaws and own benefits. You have to take the benefits from both. Correct? Unless you are like a, like a competitor, power lifter, or a competitive bodybuilder, I don't recommend you just picking one. You have to be strong. What's the point of looking jacked when you can't even, you know, lift heavy or you are not strong or your muscle are just for show? And what's the point of being strong? Okay, you, in real life, you won't be benching 500 pounds when it comes to real life. You want to look good, okay, you want to be aesthetic, but you want to be strong at the same time. So, again, I was saying in real life, if if you look strong and jacked, but if you're weak, weak and soft, it doesn't really matter. And if you are like strong as hell, but you are like chubby and disproportional and stuff, that's not going to help anyway, right? Bodybuilding methods directly translate to powerlifting as well. For example, if you want to be strong, you have to have you have to have your muscles big. Okay, we all, we all know that no, it's not necessary all the time, but 95% of the time, the bigger muscle is going to be stronger muscle because it can generate more force. As very simple as that. And also, if you want to grow big, you have to lift big as well. There is no point of picking one movement on the other because each of them has its own flaws and benefits. Give them a give both of them a try. Make your routine fun so that you can get benefits. You know, incorporate some powerlifting movements, heavy deadlift, heavy squats, and also include put some you know bodybuilding type uh, workouts like you know that focus on time and attention and use you know a variety of machines and stuff like that just to get that aesthetic really good look. Hopefully, this video helps you guys. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.